All right. So then that brings us to the question of the week. And this week's question is a fantastic question, I think. Uh, so I'm excited to bring it up here. I have it on. My- I'd say it's it's a very good question. No, but no. It's, 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 <laughs> <laughs> we'll argue that afterwards. So Stephen and our frequent Myler insiders asked a question and it's kind of long, but uh, but I think maybe it's worth reading it. So Stephen says, anyone else? having trouble getting the IRS to refund money they overpaid meeting the minimum spend on a sign-up bonus. Steven says, I filed in January and haven't received the balance back yet. And for those you know, not looking at the calendar, we're now in August, so it's been a long time. He says, the IRS yeah. doesn't view this as a refund, so any automated system about where's my refund doesn't work, but I can see online on my tax transcript that they received my payment and consider I have a credit. However, I can't get a hold of a human being to discuss getting the credit dispersed. I have called all the IRS and tax advocacy numbers, and they all literally lead to an automated voice saying they're too busy to answer questions at this time, blah, blah, blah. hang up on him. It's going on two months of intermittent calling. He filed a paper request for tax advocacy uh, a month ago and received no response. Anything else one can do? I guess you can consider this a warning about overpaying taxes when the IRS is so underfunded that there's no one to help get your money back. I don't know. Uh, At any rate, do you know of other people that have had this issue? Because we've written, you've written many mm-hmm. times about paying taxes via the IRS. And if you end up paying too much, you get a refund, blah, blah. Do you know about this yeah. situation and what can Stephen do? Yeah, just, just a little bit. So this happened to me last year, uh, you know, something about the pandemic and how they're under-resourced and overworked. Um, yeah, my, my refund took forever to come back last year. And it doesn't surprise me at all to hear that it's happening again. Unfortunately, I don't know of any solution to speed it up. It's really unfortunate that uh, it's become so difficult to, you know, both get a hold of them and and that their their processes are so slow. So yeah, unfortunately, it's just didn't work out that during pandemic time. Eek. Yeah. So I, I mean, that, yeah. that's that's definitely something to keep in mind because. You know, if if you do it just a little bit, maybe that's not such a big deal. If you can afford to float, however much you've overpaid, but uh, you kind of need to be careful because I yeah. think some people have overpaid by you know hefty amounts before, and so you know you don't want to be out that money and waiting eight or nine months. So it's definitely something to, to keep in mind. But it, but it's worth sure mentioning is. that you, you've probably not had this be a problem a number of times also, right? I mean, you've, you've had this. Right. I mean, fine. pre-pandemic, the the uh, refund would come back usually pretty quickly, certainly within a month or so of filing. So it, it's surprising that it's taking so long. And I, <laughs> again, unfortunately, I have no idea what to do about it because if it's if it's impossible to get a hold of a person, I don't know how you could get help. So, but you did go through this last year and you did eventually get the money back, right? Yeah. I mean, luckily for me, it wasn't, uh, you know, so much that I couldn't live without it. Um, and yeah, it probably took, I'm kind of guessing here cause I don't remember the dates, but, but maybe about, um, four or five months after filing. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and in this case, Steven's now looking at seven. So Ouch, yeah. ouch. Careful out yeah. there you yeah. know, with that as we go into the next year here that, you know, if you're going to do that as a means of meeting a welcome bonus, I mean, it can be a legit way and an easy way to meet a welcome bonus. But keep in mind that you know, if something gets held up, it could be a long time. I would certainly uh, go easy on that over this next year or two. That's a, a good warning from Stephen anyway, as to, to what could happen. 